Good afternoon, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I got a feeling it's going to be a busy weekend, to say the least. I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith, in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which is going to happen <laughs> Literally, at any moment, any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will minister to you, teach you, speak to you, encourage you, everything. That's what he does. He's your best friend, and he will change you. Now, this came in earlier about I, I think about two hours ago and there is an updated um, thing here I guess the US federal government and NATO headquarters claim that they're under a cyber attack right now so pro-Ukrainian group promises to blow up the Kirsch Strait bridge within 36 hours now this goes a little bit deeper also. So this is saying several agencies of the United States government are saying publicly that this hour, apparently uh, approximately at about 3.11 p.m., they are under a cyber attack. NATO headquarters in Brussels is also claiming to be under a cyber attack. Meanwhile, pro-Ukraine groups are publicly promising to blow up the Kerch Strait Bridge to harm Russia. Now think about all that that I just said. To harm Russia. So who is this? He did an update about <clears throat> 40 minutes ago. He said, I was reminded of an unusual, po unusual posting on Twitter from the Atlantic Council just a week ago. Just a week ago, making clear a cyber attack can trigger Article 5, Collective Defense. Now, it says here on this tweet... From the Atlantic Council, it says, uh, Secretary General is about how we can respond to a more competitive world, including the security consequences. Okay, hold on. I just got something else, too. Hold on a minute. Um... It says, we have decided that a cyber attack, this is what this tweet says, we have decided that a cyber attack can, can trigger Article 5. It doesn't matter if an attack is kinetic or cyber. We will assess as allies when it meets the threshold and it sends a message that we are cyber bullies. So, now, interestingly, just one week after the Atlantic Council, the Atlantic Council reminds the world of this fact, lo and behold, there's a cyber attack against NATO. Who you think they're going to blame? Yeah, they're going to blame Russia. <clears throat> What Hal says in this article is absolutely right. 
These people are treating the possibility of a nuclear World War III like a game. And that's exactly what it is to them. It's a game. Now, this just came out about 20 minutes ago. It says, some people seem to be getting very carried away. It says... Now, this is another uh, Twitter uh, thing. It says, if it turns out to be Russia-affiliated hackers, it will trigger NATO Article 5 with nearly 300 NATO aircraft already in Europe for Defender 23 it will take a few hours to raise Moscow to the ground and arrest Putin this is what's coming out right now Now, this just came out not even two minutes ago on World Net Daily. And it says, Russian hackers have unleashed on social media a threat to the European banking system, promising within, 20, within 48 hours nothing will save you. So the Russian activist group are known by names Killnet, Anonymous Sedan, Sedan, and Revel. It says, this is not a DDoS attack. The games are over. The video statement said, no money, no weapons, no Kiev regime. This is the formula for the death of Nazism, and it will work. Um, it it continued within it it continued. So it says within forty eight hours we are launching this global company. Nothing will save you, and this is not a warning. I'm just informing you. You have never seen such problems before. This is a report by the Gateway pundit noted that three notorious groups Killnet, Anonymous Sedan, and Revel are generally not united. The three hacker groups declared their intention to unleash massive cyber onslaught on the European banking system, threatening to bring it to its knees within 48 hours. This information relevant as of last night, the report said. The report continued. Killnet's leader, who goes by the name of Killmilk, has confirmed that plans for the attack are already underway. The attack, as he revealed, is set to commence within the next 48 hours. I just got this off of WorldNet Daily. So we have that thing with that cyber attack that's just happened. Um, it said Revell is a group that hacked computers of Florida based space and weaponry launch technology um, anonymous sedan which takes credit for DDoS attacks against Microsoft Azure portal uh, earlier this month also pledged support for this uh, cyber attack. Um, I don't know what's going on, but something is seriously happening right now. Um, And I will keep you informed. This is I'm going to link what Hal Turner has, and I'm going to link this thing off of World Net Daily right now. So, like I said, something is happening. I don't know what, but it, it appears to be a cyber attack 
for real. And it looks like, according to what I'm reading here, is going to get way, way worse. So, uh, we'll see. But I'll link all this in the description box. Thank you.